So there's more than one way to describe a point in the plane. Uh, I mean, the usual way is we talk about x-coordinate and y-coordinate, but there's also a way to describe points just in terms of their distance from the origin, which we call r, and their angle from the x-axis, which we call theta. So if we know the distance from the origin and their angle from the x-axis, we know exactly where the point is. So every point in the plane can be described using polar coordinates. And sometimes this is pretty useful because when you're looking at things that are rotating about some point, you, it makes the most sense to describe them using polar coordinates. One problem is that polar coordinates are not unique. All right, let me plot some points in polar coordinates for you just to get, get the idea of what's going on here. So if I plot the point with polar coordinates 3, 0, I'm looking for something with length 3 and angle 0. So angle 0 is just on the x-axis, and if I want length 3, I'm at this point. Uh, if I have length 2 and angle negative pi over 7, then I'm sort of in this direction. And if I have length 2, I go out by 2. And so let me label these points. And so here's something weird. I'm saying that you have length negative 1. When you have r less than 0, you sort of go backwards. So what I mean by that, I find the angle negative pi over 2, which is this way, and saying it as length negative 1, what we just mean by that is instead of going this way by 1, we go this way by 1. So that's point C. Well, if we have a point in polar coordinates, we can figure out the Cartesian coordinates by using trigonometry, because we have this right angle, and so we call this y and this x, then cosine theta is adjacent or hypotenuse, sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, and so multiplying by r you get this. So this allows us to go from polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates. Uh, we can also write down some formulas that sort of go in the other direction, but things aren't always so simple with those formulas. So we see here that this is a right triangle, so the Pythagorean theorem says x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And if we want to find theta, uh, we can write down an equation involving tangent. So we have opposite over adjacent is tangent theta. So these are also uh, two good formulas to know. So here's an example. We want to find polar coordinates for these two points. These are regular coordinates. And so the way we can do this, well, finding the length is really easy because r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So at this point, r squared is 1 plus 3, which is 4. So r can be 2 or minus 2. And we know that tangent theta equals y over x.
and y over x is negative root 3 or negative 1, or just root 3. So we have to see uh, what the correct angle is. So we can try to draw the point. It should be somewhere over here. And, well, we could take tangent inverse of the square root of 3, but it would give us the wrong thing. Because it would give us, so it would actually give us the angle, the angle whose tangent is root 3, which happens to be over here. But you could use this because you know that uh, to go from here to here, you just have to add pi. So, tangent inverse of root 3 is, is pi over 3. And so the angle we're looking for will be pi plus pi over 3 to put us over here. Well, that's in the case when r is positive. If so, let's write that down. Two, four pi over three, three. And we could also add any multiple of two pi to this because that doesn't change the position of the angle. But if we want to look at a negative r value, we would go to this angle, because if we were at pi over 3, we would go backwards by 2. So pi over 3 would give us the right thing. So this is also a set of polar coordinates for that point. And again, we could add any multiple of 2 pi to this if we want. Now let's try to sketch some inequalities described by polar coordinates. So here we're told r is greater than or equal to 0, and theta goes from pi over 3 to 2 pi over 3. So let's get the angle right first. We're at pi over 3, we're there, and 2 pi over 3 is there. And we're told the radius is positive, so we're in this range. Now let's try to sketch this set of inequalities. Uh, theta goes from 3 pi over 4 to 5 pi over 4. It does not include this angle. So maybe I should put a dotted line. And we're told the radius goes from 2, but not including, up to 5. So we're in this range. So we don't include this, this line, and we don't include this arc. But we do include this and this.